Welcome back. I can't believe I'm doing this. This is a frozen fragrance for children. Let's talk about it. The reason why I got this one was actually because I saw on some online forums um, where parents were asking what type of fragrance they should get their children. And my daughter, she is fully engulfed in the frozen vibe. You know, we got the DVDs and all. Yes, we have DVDs. I just bought a DVD player. But this thing, what do I actually think about this? Where do I rate this? And how do I get through a before you buy on this thing? I think you will find out pretty soon since I'm a dad and I have a problem with fragrances for children, even though I'm in the industry. So first up. Okay, let's smell this thing. <sighs> A scent not worth the spell. At first whiff, the Frozen 2 Anna EDT spray promises a blend of fruity pineapple, lavender and rose, finishing with a sweet amber base. It's definitely designed to capture the spirit of adventure and the essence of um, Anna's character in the Frozen movies. However, the real adventure lies navigating the potential risks associated with the synthetic chemicals often found in fragrances as a whole. It's one thing if you're an adult, but it's another thing if you're a child. And many of these chemicals are petroleum-based and can be harmful to human health in general, especially for children whose bodies are still developing. Okay, so... Unless you want your child to embark on an adventure to the land of allergies and potential health risks, you might want to reconsider this baby right here, okay? But if you don't, then where would you wear it? Ideally, a fragrance like this would be perfect for birthday parties, family gatherings, or a day out. Yet, considering the potential health implications that I just mentioned, I'm sorry, this is going to be a theme here. The only place this fragrance truly belongs is the realm where it can't pose any risk to your little ones okay perhaps the land of unused and forgotten products um i think it, it's a tough sell i i just can't get over it i don't know let me know in the comments below what you guys think about kids wearing fragrance and this is really i mean this is crazy <laughs> but it's it's a thing so unless you parent who's buying this for your kid uh, unless you're planning a trip to a magical kingdom far, far away, this might not be the best choice for you. And I don't think you should let your kid wear that at all. So who should wear it? As I like to go into my vibe of before you buy fragrances. There's a cautionary tale. Again, while the marketing might suggest this perfume is perfect for young fans of the Frozen franchise... Very soapy, very soapy. Um, let's consider an alternative cast of characters, okay? Instead of adorning your children with a cloak of synthetic scents, let's dress them in a natural aroma of childhood, which is just clean, simple, and free from unnecessary chemical exposure, shall we? After all, the best compliments are those that celebrate a child uh, a child's health and happiness not just their sense so unless your child is a fan of potential endocrine disruptors and respiratory irritants they might want to pass on this one and so shall you as a parent actually you know because children generally don't have money to buy this type of stuff at least the ih group that i'm talking about um in terms of compliments the true Magic of being fragrance-free is what applies here. In a twist of fate, the real compliments come from choosing not to use this perfume on your children. Opting for a fragrance-free product sends a powerful message about prioritizing health over aesthetics. It's about embracing the natural scent of your child's skin, warmed by the sun during play and or the fresh, clean smell after a bath with gentle, non-toxic products, okay? So this choice might not bring the immediate gratification of a compliment on how well you smell, but it ensures a healthier environment for your child's development. And this is better, you, you can't get better than that, okay? So unless you're 
seeking compliments on your child's potential toxic aroma, you might want to skip this one once again. So pass again. In conclusion, um, why this perfume belongs in the garbage can, in my opinion? Hmm, let's think. In the industry of fragrances, the allure of beautifully packaged products is undeniable. However, when it comes to our children, their health and safety eclipses my <clears throat> sorry, eclipses any desire for them to smell like a fictional character. This thing <coughs> I'm actually coughing already. I'm not even making this up. Um, frozen Anna to whatever EDT spray, while it's captivating in its concept. It definitely carries potential risks due to the synthetic chemicals and fragrances it contains. These can act as definitely respiratory irritants as you see me coughing away. <coughs> wow, this thing is really, it's going straight in the trash can. Um, here's my trash can. Um, that goes with that too. I can't believe I'm coughing. <laughs> okay, again. This thing, uh, the most fitting place for this thing is a, is not the delicate skin of our children, but indeed is the garbage can, as you just saw, far from doing any harm to the kids. So unless you're looking for a new item to add to your trash collection, you might want to skip on this one. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I know this has been a little bit of a different one. But I had it standing around here and I wanted to check it out. And um, I actually think somebody gifted it for us, for my daughter. And I immediately took it away and um, gave you my opinion on it. So let me know in the comments below what you think about it. If you ever smell the child's fragrance and generally if you agree or disagree, we'd love to know. Give me a fat subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.